Now, two Russian warships from the Pacific Fleet have entered the Red Sea, and this comes amid attacks by Yemen's Houthis on merchant shipping in a region already crowded with naval vessels. The Russian Navy's Pacific Fleet said that the Russian cruiser and frigate marshal Shaposhenko are taking part in the voyage. The two warships have passed the Bab al Mandeb Strait into the Red Sea. This move has forced many ship owners and operators to suspend the Swiss Canal or Red Sea route for transporting goods from Europe to Asia and vice versa. TASS has reported that the ships were carrying out assigned tasks within the framework of the long range sea campaign. The ultimate destination of the ships was unclear from the report, as was the reason Russia sent these vessels into this area. Houthis have been targeting vessels to prevent Israeli-linked ships from passing through the Indian Ocean. According to reports, the group told China and Russia earlier this month that their ships can sail through the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden without being attacked. This was an exchange of the two countries providing political support to the Houthis in bodies such as the United Nations Security Council. However, the U.S. Central Command reported about the Houthis firing a missile at Chinese-owned oil tanker Huangpu. CENTCOM highlighted continued risk to shipping in the seas of Yemen despite the agreement. This also comes after Iran, Russia and China held joint naval exercises in the Indian Ocean earlier this month. Both the Varag and the Marshal Shapushniko took part in the drills, which Russia said were meant to practice safety in maritime economic activities. The Iran-backed militias have been attacking ships in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden since November, calling it a campaign of solidarity with Palestinians during Israel's war with Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Months of Houthi attacks in the Red Sea have disrupted global shipping and has forced shipping firms to reroute to longer and more expensive journeys around southern Africa. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.